What's up guys and welcome to Nutero. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So blessings when I get this reading. I do have my Instagram and Snapchat below if you guys want. Pisces. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Pisces as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energies might be reversed for you, Pisces, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So let's begin. Pisces. Pase. You're not powerless. Okay? You're not. You can get out of whatever that is, whatever you feel helpless or powerless from. <sighs> yeah, just make the choice and stop acting like you don't know because you're a pie, say. Okay? All right, that was just a side message. I just had to say that, especially since the cards came out. Okay, Pisces. Bottom of the deck is gratitude in reverse. Now, as soon as I saw gratitude in reverse, I feel like there's something that's going on or that's going to happen because it's at the bottom of the deck that is going to make you very upset and you're just going to be like, well, you know, this, why is it always happening to me? And, and, and I hate this and I hate that and da 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 da. And it's like, it's like you're, it's like you're not seeing this as the way that the universe wants you to see it. It's like this something is happening because the universe wants you to break free from it. The universe wants to take you out of it. It's not because it's like, you know, you're under attack or, you know, the universe is against you. I feel like you could be resisting. Um, so if that already happened to you, I feel like some of you guys that did, just be grateful um, that you're being redirected because that's kind of what's happening. All right. So the first card you have is re-energize in reverse. So there's something here that, that's there's something here that is not allowing you to like relax. It's like it's like you're chill and then it comes in your energy and you're like and then it like goes away and then you're just back. It's like an up and down energy is what I'm getting with whatever this is. We're going to see what that is. And then you have turn away. So you're turning your back on something. Or you want to. I want to say want to because you see how she's looking back. Like, if you're really turning away, why are you looking back? So we're going to see. Maybe you're like, you're turned your back, but you're kind of like looking a little bit sometimes, you know. And then you have move forward. Something, something is about to, it's, it's going to charge forward. Like, like momentum is kind of what I'm getting with that. Okay. So let's see. Pisces spirit. Pisces. Pisces. All right, why is re energized in reverse? Woo! Bottom of the deck is a nine of cups in reverse. Hold on, let me put this up. You have the death card. The Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. So whatever this is that you've been that's been going like that's like up and down, up and down, hot and cold. I feel like you decided to end this here because it was like a lack of progress. Or if this was a person. This person was very immature. You're just like really like that's that's corny. Like like you're corny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cracked myself up. Um. This person definitely missed an opportunity out on you, okay? Um, you definitely walked away. You're moving on from this. It wasn't fulfilling anyway. It was really like, eh, okay? Um, and you definitely decided to cut this shit out. Like, you did. Or you're going to. Yeah. And, and, and I feel like, I feel like, I feel like you might, you might want to be alone, Okay. And you're not going to be so happy because obviously well, this didn't work out. This, this could be freshly new like within the last six months. But then you have a new opportunity right there. 
but because you're going to be in this like unhappy energy this i'm i i'm pushing myself away from people right now because i just i just went through some fucker right right and and i feel like people don't realize how much you put into stuff pisces you know what i'm saying like emotionally wise like it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of energy <laughs> you know i don't feel like people realize that um so yeah be careful with jumping into things without being ready okay allow allow you to go through these emotions allow you allow your body your energy to get back to it okay because you you were up and down up and down for a while like you need, you need to rest a little bit um yeah you're you're like no like deadlock decision this could be with a scorpio a pisces or a libra doesn't have to be though or the page of pentacles that's um capricorn taurus or virgo or a cancer because i just saw that at the bottom of the deck but anyway what does this turn away what does this turn away Bottom of the deck is the Emperor. Could be an Aries. You have the World, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. Um, Pisces, you turning away from this. <laughs> it was very much an impulsive decision. That's why you're that's why that's why you keep looking back. Because you're like, is that was did I did I do that right? Was was that okay? Because you you knew it was impulsive. But let me tell you something, Pisces. Your impulsive um choices especially the emotional ones tend to be the best ones and you second guess it because your ego doesn't didn't want you to make that choice okay but your first initial reaction that like you're intuitive as f don't second guess it you know um because you definitely close out a cycle here but I see you still um, being generous, you know, like it's, it's like you're it's like you're kind of still being generous to it a little bit. OK, um, but I feel like it's, this was a good choice with the emperor at the bottom. It's like you took control. You took the lead here because this wasn't progressing. This could, have, this could have caused a lot of financial issues or family or family problems and you're like this isn't this isn't the best thing for me right now <laughs> simple as that okay a lot of you guys like let this go like um but you did make the right choice so don't i i know it hurts but you did okay all right what is moving forward hold on let me write your title Second time I got that. Sorry, my iPad is gonna um, die. All right, um, move forward. Why is this here? I also feel like what you moved away from. It's like you were kind of forced to to walk away for some of you. I'm also getting, but this was actually a very good, very good thing you did. Uh, move forward. What is this? Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. You have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so you're definitely moving forward here from a financial loss. Like, you're recovering from a financial loss here. And I feel like this is giving you an, a, a new outlook when it comes to your finances or your stability. It's like slow and steady wins the race. It's like you're not... I feel like you're making more slower moves when it comes to your finances and your money. Um... I feel like you're being very conservative right now. You could be um, saving some money right now. Um, I also feel like you're very committed right now for a lot of you to better your health and to recover from a financial situation. Yeah, I mean, it's like this is the perfect time for this to happen. Look at this. You're ready. You're absolutely ready. Your shifts are about to come in. 
or the three of wands because of this energy that you're in. Woo, child. If some of you guys have Capricorn in your chart, I would go watch that reading. I don't care where you have it. Go watch that reading. I just got that right now. They had a beautiful reading. Or if the title, 1010 on the timer, whoo, if the title resonates with you, the Capricorn reading, watch it, please. And towards the end is where it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The, the beginning and the end. Um, anyway, so yeah, <laughs> I, I see something coming in for you that's going to make you very abundant, very self-sufficient. Some of you guys could be something like nice, a luxury here. And again, you deserve this. This is this is beautiful. This is, I feel like you've been waiting for this. Let me see. It's the Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Swords. There's somebody here who missed an opportunity with you, who missed a chance. It's going to be running right, running right back to you here. They're ready for you. They're ready. <laughs> Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, a Libra, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> I don't know two of wands you got a choice to make boo you got a choice to make all right so um I bought a new deck it's an astrology and zodiac deck and um and I'm gonna use it for some guidance and advice cap whoa you see you see, there's a reason, I knew there was a reason why I, I, they kept, I said the Capricorn thing. Pisces, I know I'm talking to Pisces. Some of you guys really, please go watch that video, um, if you want. Pisces, all right, Spirit, anything you got to say about this re-energize in reverse? You have root power, Libra energy, balancing out the scales. You have cardinal plus air. The power root lies in initiating communication. This ability grants you mastery over relationships and justice, provided that you initiate conversations and work on your diplomacy. Um, I feel like a lot of you haven't done anything about this yet, and the universe wants you to be the one to do this. Or... Uh, a lot of you were the ones that were like, yeah, um, I'm out, <laughs> bye. But others of you are still not doing it and the universe wants, it's, and maybe you could be like waiting until something happens or maybe they're going to say it. The universe wants you to say it if you haven't already. But I feel like a lot of you guys have, but that message was for somebody. What is turn away here? You have element fire. Didn't we say that it could be a fire sign coming back to you? You have masculine or yang intuition. Fire is a symbol of creation, energy, and vitality. Fire is considered to be the first element to be created on earth. That is radiant That is radiant form of energy that brings light to the world and around it. This card, this fire is so like <sighs> intense. Um, I feel like you turning away from whatever this is was very much intense. I feel like you're, you were very attracted to this. You were very drawn to this. Um, and it wasn't the most easiest, it wasn't the easiest thing to do here. But you turning away, you turning away from this is actually going to, it's, it's going to light, it's going to like show, shine the light to something else. Okay. All right, what is moving, what is move forward for Pisces? I was about to call you Capricorn again. <laughs> oh man, Pisces. What is this move forward spirit? You have Pluto, Scorpio energy. You do have the death card here. Um, so you guys have Scorpio in your chart. You have um, strength, courage, passion, and friendship. The only thing that will make you happy is being happy with who you are and not who people think you are. And that is how, and that is why you're moving forward. Because you started doing things on your terms. And your terms might not make sense to anybody else, right? But they make sense to you. 
And I feel like this has been something for a while. You always, you had an idea, you had something, and then you go and ask for somebody's opinion just to see. And then their opinion seems more logical or, you know, it makes sense. And you're just like, okay, well, that seems more concrete, so I'm going to just go with theirs. And it never works out. But now, but now you're doing things on your terms, your way, and you're trusting yourself, which is a huge, huge um, chance you're taking. Because when we trust ourselves, there's never really any concrete evidence, you know, that what we're doing is going to be the right thing. And trusting yourself is always a scary thing. But that's why you're about to get... <laughs> Like I said, that's why you're about to, that's why your shifts are about to come in because you, this is the biggest, the biggest chance that you could take is on yourself. And that's what the universe is waiting for all of us to do. And you're doing it. So congratulations. Okay. But I don't want that. I just want to look at Sagittarius passage, house of purpose and believe the ninth house represents intuition and the study of religion, philosophy, and higher learning. A lot of you guys are very intuitive. I mean, obviously a lot of you guys are very spiritual. You're learning a lot about um, maybe how to manifest and how to bring things forward on, on a higher level, right? I mean, I'm not surprised. You guys are Pisces. You guys are very much in tuned. <laughs> in tuned. And you guys could be um, like figuring out how to expand your powers, right? Your gifts, your intuition, which is beautiful. All right, so that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.